So apparently this brother was at court to be sentenced for drug charges. Then out of nowhere, he just decided, you know what? I ain't going to jail today. Now, I'd have been to court before, and I'd have thought to myself, man, I should just run up out of here. And then I looked over and seen, I said, nah, 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 I ain't even gonna try that. Nah, not a good idea. But this brother looked over and seen, and said, yup, I'm gone. Now, the one officer tried to tase him, but instead of waiting on a clear shot, he tries to fire the taser over his partner's shoulder. Now, another thing I noticed from the video that y'all probably didn't pay attention to is, what's the lady in the blue hair? When dude run by her, watch how she celebrates. Now, either that's his mama or she there on drug charges too. And she thinking to herself, oh, I should have ran too. Then when I see him running by, look how the older deputy try to act like he really finna step out there. Brother, you better get out of the way. Now, upon further investigation, I've determined, yeah, that lady is related to him. That hair color came from the same household. Now, here's another thing. The bald-headed officer wanted to be a superhero so bad. Bruh, there's a big difference between hero and superhero. And you need to learn the difference. Superheroes, they can fly and not get hurt. Heroes, they can't jump over stairs and land on them and not get hurt. Now, from what I'm hearing, this officer suffered a concussion and four broken ribs. My heart goes out to you, brother. But that was dumb. Now, instead of being a hero, you become the reason why they don't catch the man. Because your ass sliding down all the steps, can't nobody get past you. And I noticed, after this brother slid down the steps, the other two officers was like, yeah, that look dangerous. Let me, uh, let me just walk down here like a normal person. Now, let's watch that jump one more time in slow motion. Not a good idea, brother. Where did you think you was going to land if you missed? You got to start thinking this stuff through, bruh. Now, another thing I just noticed is that older officer probably shouldn't be on duty like that. He probably should be like on some parking ticket duty or something like that. That brother barely can get down the stairs. Now, I ain't making fun of him, but that right leg is dead as hell. This is a clear-cut case of why officers should have to pass a physical fitness test once a year. Because they just let themselves get out of hand because they so used to everybody coming to court and be like, oh, I'm going to jail? All right, take me to jail. Some people ain't going. Now, for those of y'all that's watching this video saying, I wonder if they caught him. Well, as far as everything that I'm reading, they still ain't caught this brother. I got a few questions, though. Now, if you knew you was getting sentenced today and you knew you didn't want to go to jail, why did you even show up? If I know I don't want to go to jail, I'm not about to go into the belly of the beast and then try to escape. Now, granted, he got up out of there pretty good. But me, I'm going to get a head start on you. I'm going to leave the night before or something. I'm not about to come all the way to court and then take my chances on getting up out of there. This damn stair scene literally looks like it's up out of a movie. Only thing is, that officer ain't had no stunt double. He took all them stairs to the head on his own. So the old officer finally get down the stairs and look over his guy and the other officer that laying down there in obvious pain rolling over and he looking up at the other officer like oh man help and the old man looking like do you see me you gonna have to lay there till the paramedics get there i can't do nothing for you brother i need help too now at the end of the day we know they eventually gonna catch this cat and that was probably real dumb to run up out of that courtroom like that because when they catch you you're gonna do at least five six more years and they might not even been about to send you to prison, bruh. But you're going now. What that bus driver say to that girl before he uppercutted her? Yeah, you know what it is? Yeah. Now, I'm going to say this also. It's pretty rare to see that type of speed out of somebody who, uh, somebody who isn't, uh, somebody who, you know what I'm getting at. Somebody had to say it. He, that brother ran up out of there like he'd been to jail before, and he had a horrible experience. He must have ran into Nasty Nate, and Squirrel Master was not there to save him.